Elbe Grund. Agasusa, a heathen's curse. Such a badass name. A name that intrigues you with a peculiar word and a subtitle that says, dark shit's going down. Discovering this film reminded me of how I used to discover films when I was a little boy. I was just scrolling through some horror festival reviews when I saw the name Hagasusa and the poster. Hot damn, it looked fucking cool, and the review score was a positive one. I thought the title was Japanese, but it's actually an old high German word for witch. Yeah, we're talking folk horror, now it has my attention. It reminded me of when I was just a kid. Back then, there was no internet or ocean of free reviews to read, so all you could go on was word of mouth, or maybe a brief article in some magazine you bought. Here, all I had was the poster and a brief synopsis to go over, and yet I was super hyped to watch it. It was just like when I was a kid and I would go to the local blockbuster or video drive-in. Back then, all I had to go on was the artwork and some of the photos of the movie on the back to sell it to me. Look at my Evil Dead VHS. When I saw this as a kid, my little mind was blown. It looks freaky, disgusting and cool. I had to see what this was about. Since then, I just stopped watching trailers for films. I'll get an insight into what the film's about, maybe get an idea of the quality of the film from reading a few reviews, and then going completely blind. I find I enjoy a film a lot more than when I used to scope around forums and completely spoil everything for myself on the internet. So, does Hagasusa live up to the hype? In my opinion, it does. It follows the life of a young girl named Alburn across four different chapters. Starting with her as a young child caring for her ill mother, and continuing until she is a young single mother herself. She's a shy and reclusive person, which makes people suspicious that, you guessed it, SHE'S A WITCH! The director explained he wanted to show how terrible the late middle ages was for someone with mental illness. Being traumatised and hounded due to superstitions of the time and conditions such as psychosis simply not being understood. Very wisely, the film never outright states if Alburn is a witch or not. It's very possible she could be, and it's also very possible she could just be a poor victim of religious persecution. This film had me from the opening. The music, the visuals, everything, it instantly gets you hooked and in that horror mood. You just know some dark subject matter is getting explored. I can't stress enough that the film is drop dead gorgeous, with an atmosphere thicker than molasses. Much like the Robert Eggers film The Witch, Hagasusa is thick in period detail. You really feel like you're back in the 15th century, alone up in the mountain, far away from anything we'd understand as civilization. However, this is not a film for a casual audience. This is a movie that goes at its own pace, focused on setting the mood and letting you soak in every inch of its merciless world. It's a very, very slow moving picture, and this may turn off a lot of people. I was shocked the thing is only an hour and 45 minutes, cause it felt like I'd been watching it for around 5 days. But the film is so absorbing due to its audiovisual style, there was no point I was ever bored. I was so goddamn spellbound with how the film moves and breathes. It's a movie you watch for the experience rather than a tightly written gripping story. For instance, there's very long sequences with zero dialogue, which again is an acquired taste. As I say, if you're just an average film goer looking for an entertaining flick, then this might not be your thing. It's designed to crawl under your skin and fester, rather than thrill you and make you jump. I'm a firm believer that art should have no limits, within legal reasons, and just because a film makes you anxious or uncomfortable doesn't mean it should be shunned. There are numerous scenes that are uncomfortable to sit through. It is far more darkly erotic and explores way more of Auburn's sexuality than I was expecting. I can see certain people turning the film off at a rather early point due to how it may be perceived as going too far and upsetting them. One scene in particular in a swamp really got to me, and mixed with a relentlessly dreaded tone, it can threaten to be overbearing at points. There's quite literally no lightness in the life of this poor woman, and the film commits to the cruelty of this life she must suffer through 100%. Most likely, it will simply be too heavy for some people to sit through. It's so suffocatingly bleak, you really need to be in the right mindset to watch it, with the understanding that you're going to be handing over all positive emotions for a while. 
I'm not even exaggerating. Afterwards, I felt like I needed a hot mug of cocoa and a hug from a friend to cheer me up. It's so relentlessly horrible. A heathen's curse delivered for me. It's a unique, visually stunning piece of horror art and a must-see for anyone who's a fan of unconventional films. But for a casual film goer, it may simply be too grim and too laboured to sit through. But if you think you have the stomach for it, definitely check it out. Just make sure you have a little bottle of antidepressants on standby. Ah!